Hello and welcome to the racing seat. I'm Matt. And I'm Rez. Last episode, we showed you how to make a cold air intake out of PVC pipe. This episode, we're going to show you how to make it look better with some paint or some tape. We're also going to answer some commonly asked questions you may have about cold air intakes. Let's go. You and eat your intake you made last episode. Some wrap. We're using aluminium tape. You could also use heat wrap. You also need some primer and some paint. We're using wrinkle black. Because we like it wrinkly. And if you want the paint to dry faster, you can use a heat gun. Alright guys, first things first, you're gonna to need to take apart your intake so you can paint it or wrap it. Make sure the pipe is clean before you paint it by using some wax and grease remover. Just wet the rag and wipe it on. Now you've cleaned your pipe off, give it a good coat of plastic primer. To speed up the drying process, we're going to use a heat gun. So now we're going to paint your pipe. You can paint it any colour you want. Today, we're going to use wrinkle black because it matches our black silicon joints. So, you can also wrap your intake. You can either use some aluminium tape, some heat exhaust wrap, or if you're super baller, you can use gold reflective heat tape, which you see on race cars. Today, we're going to use some aluminium tape, which is $5 from a hardware store. Here's one that we've aluminium wrapped to show you. This is the pipe all wrapped. So that's the painted air intake done. We've waited for the paint to dry and they've reinstalled it and now it's all ready to go. So here's the wrapped intake all installed. As you can see it looks great. Um, it's a pretty good alternative to painting and any other type of uh, pipe like aluminium pipe or stainless steel. So you may be wondering why we use PVC pipe for our intake instead of aluminium or any other material. Basically PVC is cheap, you can find it at any hardware store, it's very easy to work with with just hand tools. So we figured it was perfect for any beginner air intake. Yep. So you may be wondering, will this get you defected? Well, things you can do to make it more legal is to secure it to the chassis and cover the pod filter. But in some states, an aftermarket intake just isn't legal. Remember to always check with your local authority. So, what most do you want to know? Will this give me any power? While we can't say if it will actually give you a power increase or not, it definitely will give you colder air intake temps, which theoretically should lead to more power. The reason most people do it is the air intake note you get from the pod filter, which does sound great. Yeah, it's pretty sporty. The number one concern people have about cold air intakes is will water get sucked up to the pod filter? Well, the answer to that is no, because even if your pod filter is down near the bumper, you will have to drive through a puddle that's up to your door sills to get water actually near it. And pod filters are designed to defend against dust and mist. Alright guys, so that's how you make a respectable looking cold air intake. This is perfect for anybody's attempt at a first cold air intake. You know, I've actually got something to tell you, Rez. 
I used to use my stock airbox. I like the factory look, and really, it is just a matter of preference as to what you'd rather have. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's it from us. I'm Rez. And I'm Matt. And this is The Racing Scene. See you next time.